In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Tinkercad 3D design software online to create and 3D print a two bar fidget spinner, a dual bar fidget spinner, and it takes less than a minute to do this. So let's get started. First thing you need to know is the size of these bearings because we're going to be using those as weights in this example. Since the 3D printable material is not that heavy, that'll help it spin. So we're going to use three bearings, including the center one that needs to spin well and the outer two that don't really have to spin at all. It doesn't matter how good they are. And to do that, we're going to look at the dimensions of the 608 series bearing. Now this says there's a 22 millimeter outer diameter. That means the distance all the way across that circle from um, one side to the other is 22 millimeters. Um, we're going to make that a hole in our body, so we need a little ring on the outside that will encapsulate that, that will hold it. So since one millimeter would be too thin possibly for printing or for stability, we'll make it two millimeters thick. So if we're going to make a hole inside of something that needs two millimeters on either side, then we're going to need 22 across plus two on this side plus two on that side, which makes a 26 millimeter diameter ring. And that ring is also going to be the same thickness as the bearing, which is seven millimeters. So this is how easy it is. Under your basic shapes, you can use a tube, and this will be good for a very basic spinner like this, but we're gonna see why it's not the best for other types. The radius would be 13, because if it's 26 diameter, then the radius is halfway across from the center to the outside. And we'll make the wall thickness two. Then the height will be seven, and all we need to do is take that ring, duplicate it, and then move it where you want it to go so it overlaps with the original ring and duplicate it again, and guess what? We have now created a two bar, a dual bar, 3D fidget spinner that we can print out on a 3D printer. That took about 30 seconds. Now, of course, you might wanna make it a little fancier than that. In fact, even with this tube tool, you can change some things. For example, you can change the number of sides, which if we zoom in on it, you'll see why that's useful. It's very much like a polygon sort of flattened edges shape right here, and if you increase the number of sides, it smooths it out and makes it much more perfect of a circle in a ring. You can also change the bevel. The bevel tapers or angles the sides in on the top and bottom. And if you change the bevel segments, it curves that bevel. So you can make it more of sort of a smooth ring shape. So if we do that for all of them, you'll see nice kind of rounded shapes, but it's still not very fancy of a spinner. So if you want to see a better way to make a more interesting, unique spinner for yourself, go ahead and watch the next video.